Okay. So how are you enjoying sailing in San Francisco? Oh, it's fantastic sailing out there. Um, I mean, I think today was was great. Just that decision to wait a little uh, little while and the breeze came in. A little unusual, I think, the conditions today. They're quite patchy, the breeze. Um, but just great, you know. Fleet racing is fantastic. Very enjoyable. How did you go today? Um, a bit better today. I changed my uh, my sail today um, to my probably my favourite sail, which I thought was pretty worn out, but um, seems to be very durable and had a lot better boat speed and some cracking starts, but uh, some good top mark roundings in the top 20, but uh, still struggling with the downwind uh, aspect of it, um, which of course, as you would know, Rob, it's a lot different uh, to when I started uh, 20, 25 or is it 30 years ago? I, I don't know. I, I don't really want to remember. Um, so that's changed a lot. The downwind is, uh, is really where the action is and it's taken a while to, uh, to catch up, but, but slow progress, I'm quite happy. What was the objective for the whole week? Yeah. The objective for me is really to finish in the top half. Um, I wanted to probably finish in the top 40, that's still possible for me. Um, and really it's my first year back, I had a 10 year break so uh, and uh, got quite fat, and now I'm not so fat, but uh, the objective is uh, steady progress this year and then back to full time sailing next year uh, with a, hopefully another 10 kilos off. Um, but, you know, just to be out there and be competing and racing against these guys is, uh, for me, you know, an enormous privilege and uh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. You're doing a lot of development in Australia, building, getting boats in and building Yeah, we're fleets. building a fleet, a really good fleet there. I'm importing fins down there and um, we're certainly finding with the Masters that there's a great niche for the boat. Um, and encouragingly, like Oliver Tweedle here from Australia, he's 19, sailing really well, coming 35th at the moment in his first Gold Cup. Uh, having come third in the in the juniors, it's great to see some young Australian kids getting into the boat. Um, so the fleet's building down there. How many boats have you got over there now? And um, well, we've sold somewhere between 20 and 30 boats this year. Um, some of those upgrades, but most new to new new people. Um, real diverse spectrum, um, and I think we've got certainly the opportunity to sell another 20 or 30 boats this year. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to see a nationals this year with 40 to 50 boats, uh, which is a massive step change from the sort of 10 or 12 boats that historically we've had at Australian nationals. Yeah. And what drives you to keep going on the fin and doing all this development work? Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, you know, I've sailed the boat for so many years. I think my first regatta in the fin was uh, Hailing Island uh, in 1983, and uh, I think that was the, 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 uh, the UK nationals. And um, look, you know, there's no other boat like it. I think the evolution has been sensibly controlled within the boat. Um, the advent of free pumping brings a level of athleticism that I think um, is unique to the fin. Um, and the boat today is just such a pleasure to sail. Um, so, you know, you can still compete if, as long as you're reasonably fit. Um, what else would you be doing on a weekend or a couple of nights a week? Go sailing a fin, sounds pretty good.